Boeing 787 lost fuel at a height of 41,000 feet, 12.5 kilometers. Imagine you are traveling by plane that has hit the zero fuel mark. All of a sudden in the middle of the flight, you will get goosebumps for sure just by imagining such a situation. What if I tell you this happened for real? I am sure you won't believe me for a moment. Airplanes are designed to hold huge volumes of fuel in the order you make them capable of flying overseas. They have specially designed inbuilt indicators that constantly tell about the amount of fuel left in the fuel tank. When a plane hit the zero fuel mark at a height of 41,000 feet, Boeing 787 of the Canadian Airlines was all set to initiate its journey. As per the plans the plane was supposed to complete its journey in two halves, in the first half, it was supposed to travel from Montreal to Ottawa and for the second half of the journey, Ottawa to Edmonton. The pilots of the plane discovered that the instruments that were used to display the fuel level of the plane were not working properly, they were not able to determine the exact fuel level. Here comes the big mistake from the pilots, they instead of reporting the malfunctioning, decided to manually estimate the fuel status by working upon the last fuel time and last fill-up time. They decided there's enough fuel for the flight and initiated the takeoff procedures. The flight completed its first half of the journey quite easily without any hindrances. The pilot again instructed his crew to take a manual check of the fuel level. On checking, it was found out that the plane was having 20,400 liter of fuel, which was more than sufficient for the second half of the journey. But in reality there was only a 9145 liter of fuel in the tank, which was not enough for the remainder of the journey. The pilots were unaware of this fact and decided to carry on the journey. In the midway of the second half of the journey, the first tank of the plane went out of fuel, which is quite normal for a plane, but after 19 minutes the second tank also ran out of fuel, which gave a huge blow to the pilots. The plane was at a height of 41,000 feet and both the tanks of the plane ran out of fuel completely. The plane was at the mercy of nature, the pilots were losing control of the plane, all the equipment stopped working, the lives of all the passengers traveling on the plane was in danger, only a miracle could have saved their lives. The brave decision from the pilot, the pilot of the Boeing 787 of the Canadian Airlines came up with a solution to try to land the plane in Winnipeg. Only the gliding system of the plane was working and the pilot had to use them to try to reach Winnipeg. Soon the gliding system also ceased to work. Caption Robert Pearson then decided to steer the plane towards an old Air Force runway that was out of service. The runway was being used for picnic purposes and was filled with hundreds of people. The captain decided to land the plane on that very runway since it was only 19 kilometers away from the plane. The pilot somehow managed to land the plane on that runway. All the passengers were safe. He conducted a smooth landing, which was not less than a miracle.